Oh my gosh. It's today, it's today, it's today. I told you guys to be patient with me and I was going to get you a video on how I mix my paint, my ratio. So, first. <laughs> and subscribe, like, and comment. I would greatly appreciate it. I've been getting an amazing outpour of support from you guys. And if you followed me or you found my video from any of the paint groups, if you saw it because of the algorithm, if you saw it because you're bored, I don't care why you saw it, I don't care how you saw it, but thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here with me today. First things first. <sighs> You can't have a one size fits all for your paint. I know, I know that you want one, but you cannot have one. Paint consistency is completely different and I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. So I'm gonna first mix my base or my white. I mix in something like this. I actually received this from the Dollar Tree. This goes up to four cups, so 32 ounces. I usually go about to three and a half cups. So I'm going to be mixing two of these because I have five canvases in there and they're all large. I always start off with one cup of paint. So I'm going to be starting off with Liquitex. I personally prefer Liquitex for my white base. This is titanium white. I got it from Michaels. I want to say it's normally about $17 and it is 13.53 US fluid ounces. So I'm going to put that in here and going to put it up to one cup and that's how I usually start so before I kind of want you guys to see how thick this paint usually is it's a pretty thick consistency so for this I'm able to add a lot more water so I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze out one cup I hate that part because I don't fart I mean, if I fart, it's not y'all business. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. So we're gonna squeeze until it gets to one cup. And what I do to make sure I'm at one cup, you see how it's like up all tall? I just flatten it out like that. Number one, I use wooden sticks. First thing I'm going to do is just do like a little mix. Get it. You know how like you warm up butter because you want it to, to mix right. If <laughs> that makes sense. You know how you warm up some butter because you want it to really mix right. You see this is the consistency we're working with right now. That's way too thick for us to be able to mix out. So I'm just Working it, getting a little bit smooth first. Getting it ready. I have my water in a canister and I'm gonna add a little bit at a time. If you add too much water, like if you try to, let's say you're gonna be doing 40% water and you go ahead and you add your 40% all at one time, your consistency is going to get chunky and it's going to be darn near impossible to get the chunks out. So you wanna make sure you're adding a little bit at a time. So I'm at one and one thirds. I pour it until I pour it until I was at one and two thirds. And pouring a little bit at a time, and I'm just going to mix. Now you want to make sure that when you're mixing, you're being extremely you want to put all of your control to the base of the cup because you want it, you want it to start getting smooth. So right now, this is what it's gonna look like. Doesn't look 
It's not very uniform. If we were to try to blow this out, it would be absolutely terrible. So we won't do that. So just mix it up. Mix it all up real good. All right, so not quite to what we want it to be. So we're gonna go add some more water, but we do notice that it, there are no chunks in it. So it blended out pretty smooth. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more water. I'm gonna go ahead and go up to two cups. But it's tedious. Um, sometimes you have to add just a wee bit more amount of water or just a little bit more amount of paint. But I'll show you the consistency that I look for when I mix my water and my paint. Look for the consistency that you want and not a ratio, because you're not gonna be able to do the same ratio. So, consistency that I look for. It goes right back in. It just goes right back into the cup but it also still sticks to the stick and it's transparent. Another way that you can test to see if it's going to blow the way you want it to blow, if it's too thick or not, you can blow on the actual stick. That blow perfectly. Let me see if I can get it in the camera. So with the blow dryer, that's gonna move super easy. <sighs> so I know that mixing paint could be such a tedious thing, but Now's the fun part. Let's go ahead and blow it out. So this is the fun part because I love to blow my paint out. I'm doing the reverse Dutch pour method. I'm gonna put my colors down first. I am using Liquitex and this is a turquoise blue. right over top of that with some phthalo green and this is also by Liquitex. So I wanted to add just a little bit of dimension so I'm going to add a very thin line of Payne's Gray and this is also by Liquitex. And then I'm gonna go over top of that with some gold, and this is by, who you, who you think? Liquitex, no, I'm just playing. This one is by Arteza. I love their gold. Arteza's gold is beautiful. So now I'm just going to line against that with this custom peachy orange. I use several Liquitex colors to get this particular orange and I love how it turned out. It's not just a typical orange, it is like a peachy and I'm just going to line that for my reverse Dutch pour and then I'm going to put the orange down to blow it out.
this looks. This is the white that we mixed together. Look at how easy it's just moving. And I'm still flooding my colors. So I'm going to take you guys down so that you can see what it turned out to be. I absolutely love how beautiful these jewel tones look against this orange. I cannot wait for it to dry because you know it truly dries a little bit darker. Oh, it's going to be so beautiful. I will show you guys the dried product next time and I will see you in a few days. I love you. <laughs>